Hey, do you remember that Australian company called Carbon Revolution that's making wheels out of carbon fiber? We got an update of what they're doing, and that's coming up right after this. Carbon Revolution is an Australian startup that's producing wheels made out of carbon fiber. When we last talked to them, they were just getting going. Well, here's the latest on where they stand today. Brett, when we had your other compadres in here, they were all talking about what the company's going to be doing in terms of manufacturing and sales. So here you are with the update. Can you give us a little bit of where the company stands right now in terms of building and selling the wheels? Absolutely. So we're in production now. We're shipping wheels into the U.S., into Japan, several uh, other markets around the world. Um, we currently have fitments for the Porsche 911, um, BMW M3s, Audi R8s, Lamborghinis. Um, yeah, and it's going well. That's great to hear that it's actually happening. Um, the other thing, too, is uh, I'm, I'm still curious why you would choose a wheel to go carbon. So much of the public's perception is that carbon's brittle. It can break very easily. Why did you guys go with this on the wheel? Well, one, wheels are the most important mass in the vehicle. So from a vehicle dynamics perspective, we want to improve, right, performance, efficiency, this is the place to start. From an auto industry perspective, if we're going to lightweight the vehicle, let's start there. When you do the material selection, you want a material that doesn't fatigue, right, is robust in its characteristics, it doesn't corrode. We came up with carbon fiber. It's one of the misconceptions that carbon is brittle and fractures and has these failure modes. I think that comes from the Formula One industry. People are watching those light wing, lightweight aerodynamic elements, right? And then they start to fail when they touch another car. Um, it can be fairly rapid and you see that behavior. I think what people forget is when that car goes into a wall at 200 miles an hour and the driver walks away fine, that that carbon monocoque chassis was made out of the same material. It's about the engineering and the construction. So as you look around our parts, um, very thick sections, very robust uh, spokes, they're, they're made to similar design philosophies as those monocoque chassis. You mentioned earlier some of the different applications that this wheel is going to be going on. How about a little bit farther down the road? What about getting into more of the mass market? Not, not pure mass market, but more volume-oriented performance cars. Absolutely. I think like any new technology, it'll follow a trickle down. So right now we're obviously working at the top end of the sports cars, the exotic stuff, improving the performance and efficiencies of those platforms. Um, long term, we will bring that technology down into more mainstream vehicles as the volume comes up. Um, principally, on a, we look at it as an efficiency technology. Really long term, the auto industry has to lightweight vehicles. And when you can look at 2-4% uh, fuel economy savings by a bolt-on retrofittable technology, um, the auto industry should be very interested in that. And maybe not just the auto industry. Cars aren't the only things with wheels. Oh, absolutely. Um, we are looking at alternative uh, ways to apply the technology in wheels, airplanes, helicopters, other vehicles, heavy trucks. So stay tuned. We're, there's more to come from Carbon Revolution. Absolutely. Um, there's lots of uh, applications for this technology. Brett, thanks for the update. Really appreciate it. Yeah, no worries.